In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the WordPress Login Lockdown plugin, which is very similar to the Limit Login Attempts plugin, but the big difference is this one has one extra little feature that I really love and use a lot. That's why I'm showing this plugin to you, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. I'm gonna quickly demonstrate what the default WordPress login form gives tips to hackers as to how they can better access your site. If I type in here some gibberish for the username, and anything for the password, we have a message saying invalid username, which tells the hacker, okay, that's not a real username. Let's keep trying till we find a real username. I'm gonna type in Bjorn, which is a username on this site. Gibberish password, click on login. The message changes. The password you entered for the username Bjorn is incorrect. So this confirms that this username is a real username. Now the hacker knows the username. Now all they have to do is crack the password. This kind of a message from your login form is not good in terms of brute force protection. So there are a lot of plugins that help with this. I did a video recently on one called Limit Login Attempts Reloaded. This video is about the WP Login Lockdown plugin, which is a little bit different. It has one extra feature that I really like that I'm gonna show you right now. If we hop into the dashboard and click on Add New and type in Login Lockdown, we see the plugin up here it's untested with the current version of WordPress, but it works fine. If you want to back up your site and database just to be safe, I encourage you to do that. You should always do that when you install plugins. I'm going to click on install now because it's my demo site and I don't really care if it goes down. I click on activate to activate it. Now we have a new link in the settings menu called login lockdown. Click on that to open the settings page. And this is the whole settings page right here. This is all the settings for the entire plugin. First setting. Max login retries. How many times can someone try logging in and fail to log in before they're restricted? By default, it's set to three. So they're allowed to try three times, try and fail three times over a five minute period. And if they don't manage to log in successfully, so if they fail three times within five minutes, they're gonna be locked out for 60 minutes. You can change any of these numbers. You can have this 52 tries in one minute and log out for 30 seconds or locked out for 30 seconds. It's up to you how you set it. The default settings are pretty good. So I just keep them as they are. This is the extra feature that Limit Login Attempts Reloaded does not have. Lock out invalid usernames. So if you recall that gibberish username I tried earlier, which hackers will try too. They're gonna to try usernames that aren't on your site because they don't know what the usernames are. This option instantly locks those out which is very useful because you can almost be certain either someone made a typo of their real username and it gets locked out or it's a hacker trying to log in. But if somebody did a typo, it doesn't matter because it's the incorrect username anyway. So they're gonna see they did a typo, they're gonna type in the correct one and then be able to log in properly. So I almost always have this set to yes. Mask login errors. Those error messages that we saw earlier where it said this username is valid or this username is not invalid, this is where you can hide those. So if you set this to yes, we mask the errors, we won't see those. So I'm just gonna set this back to no, so I can put in a gibberish username. I'm gonna show you what happens when we mask the errors. It's gonna reload this page, gibberish username, gibberish password, click on login, and now it says invalid username or incorrect password. If you recall before, it said just invalid username. Now if I put in a correct username and a gibberish password, it says the same message it does not confirm that the username is correct. So we're not giving any hints to hackers by having this error message the way it is. So that's the mask login errors. I'm gonna set this one back to yes. Show credit link. This is a credit link to the login lockdown plugin. You can choose to display it or not. It's up to you. There's three different options. Display the link as it is. Display it with a no follow, which is helpful for SEO so you don't pass link juice if that's even still relevant today. And no, do not display link. Which one you choose is up to you. I'm gonna click on update settings. I'm gonna see if I can get a username that's on the site locked out to see what that looks like. This is the username I just created, gibberish password. 
Gonna log in a bunch of times, gonna pause the video while I do. Oh look, it's already blocked. Okay, first try, that worked. So it must have just recognized my IP as constantly trying new stuff, and now I have been locked out. So hopefully I can still show you this thing. If I click on activity, we see we have an IP that's been locked out, and there's 59 minutes left in that IP's lockout. If you check this box, you can release that selected box, which means that IP will no longer be locked out. You would do this if you recognize the IP or if it's someone who works for you or if someone who's a member of your site and they email you and say, this is my IP, have I been locked out? Then you can release the IP if you need to. And that's the whole plugin. That's everything there is to it. And like I said, the one extra option that Limit Login Attempts Reloader does not have that I really like is lockout invalid usernames and you lock them out immediately, which is a great feature. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.